Hello everyone. I wanted to uh, reach out to everybody. Uh, I've gotten a few messages uh, regarding paychecks um, and I wanted to kind of clear it up before everybody gets uh, too dramatic um, with their decisions right now because drama isn't what we need to be focusing on. We need to be focusing on other things. Um, you, your next paycheck or this paycheck would be for Wednesday, Thursday, and half of Friday. That's uh, two and a half days. Um, when the virus began and the shutdowns began of restaurants, um, we didn't have to pay you even the last paycheck. Um, uh, we, but we did. Uh, we, we knew that you needed that, we had it, and we gave it to you, and that's it. We haven't had sales in a few weeks now. Nothing compared to what we normally would have. Um, we're just out here hustling the best that we can. We've got product because we ordered a lot of product, um, just kind of you know, figuring out that it was March, uh, we were gonna have a busy weekend, um, so we're lucky enough uh, to still be able to do takeout uh, with the product that we do have. Um, by now, you should have been um, registered or whatever it is to unemployment, um, if that's something that you choose to do. Um, or by now, you should be figuring out what job you're gonna get, um, seeing that the industry that you have spent so much time in is not going to be up and running for a while, a long time. Um, paychecks will be sent out very soon. Um, we're thinking maybe by the end of the week. Um, we're hoping by the end of the week. Um, so we'll do that. Um, but, you know, more importantly, um, you have to reinvent yourself a little bit here. Um, if you were a server or a bartender, um, a line cook, dishwasher, all these positions that we had to lay off. Um, there are places that are hiring. I know Jen did a video earlier for more, uh, more, more money with Jen. Um, I don't know if it's up yet, but, um, she was discussing all of these different places like CVS and grocery stores that are hiring, you know, take advantage of that. Um, I know it's not, what you imagined. I know it's not something that you even thought of that you would be in this position in March um, in Florida, um, but it's what's happened. Um, you know, I didn't imagine being in this position either. Uh, I have a, uh, an empty restaurant, empty. Um, I care for a lot of people that worked and work with me that are now having to look for other jobs. Um, it's, it's, it's very different from uh, the crash in 2008. Um, you know, I didn't have a restaurant then, uh, but I did, you know, Scott did have a company and, you know, when, when that happened, there were no government programs to help you with that crash. Um, you know, luckily this is, luckily or not, however you want to look at it, um, this is a global, global thing that's going on here. And we're gonna get some help from the government. Um, I don't know how much help, but we are. Um, and hopefully it will keep us alive until, you know, we can open up the doors again for the restaurant. But in all honesty, I don't know when that's gonna be. Um, and if it hasn't hit you that you need to be looking for another job, you need to be looking for something that creates income for you right now. Um, I hope that this message does that for you because you need to be thinking about getting a job. Um, and I'm just thinking about surviving out here. Um, it's very tough. Uh, the kids are doing online school. Um, can't go to school. Schools, schools have been closed um, probably till next year. Um, 
I thought I was going to have one of the best 2020 seasons that I've ever had here at the getaway. I had prepared, I had educated myself on sales and found motivation in, in books that I read and in audiobooks and things that I was sharing with you guys. Um, I really was excited and um, you know that's been taken away. So I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna quit educating myself and reading books and and being ready for when we do get open. Um, you know the the recipes have changed. Um, you know I don't think people are gonna be full com feeling comfortable with garnishing. So you know we've already been working on that. Um, what else? Um, menu. I'm still working on menus. Um, I've got a really cool idea for cocktails when we get back. Um, we have been um, getting a lot of regulars um, that have uh, asked for a few of you um, on the docks on the weekend and even during the week. Um, so we're keeping that alive. Um, you know, lots of positive stuff that you have to look for throughout the day because it's not just going to slap you in the fucking face right now. You know, right now anybody can wake up and be negative and be down on themselves. Um, and, you know, oh shit, I don't know what soon means about our paychecks. I mean, that's the negative way to go. Um, there's a lot of negative go stuff going on in the world right now. Very soon on your next two and a half days of paycheck is not something to be creating uh, a negative buzzer about. Um, definitely hope that we can send him out by Friday. Um, and also think about it, you know, you got to start thinking positive. Um, there's nothing else that we can do. We're all in this together. We're, we, we're on the same boat together here. So if it hadn't hit you that this world's changing and it may change for the better. I think I think there are certain things that are going to change that are going to be for the better. Um, but if it hasn't hit you, um, you need to wake up. Wake up and see that you are going to need to go get a job that may, that will not be, let me just put it like that, that will not be bartending and serving. Nobody's hiring bartenders and servers right now. It's just what's happening nobody's going to restaurants that's what's happening to me I get here I open up service bar I check on all the liquor stuff in the liquor room I check on the menu to see what kind of product we have to sell what stuff we don't have I uh, sit at the tiki bar with my computer um, I listen to an audiobook I work on the layout of the bars how I want them done I work on menu revisions. I work on all kinds of things, waiting for a ticket to come through for a cocktail. Uh, today we, I did a Miami Vice and a, what else did I do? Miami Vice. I know I did one more. Ah, Rum Runner. Two cocktails for today on a day where normally we would make lots of cocktails. So I can't think about the lots of cocktails I got to think about and celebrate the success of two cocktails. And we were able to reach our daily goal of $200. We surpassed it. 200 Normally it's what? So anyways, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are staying positive. I hope you guys are not being influenced by any negative around you, including friends and family. We're all gonna get through this together. Um, it's gonna look a little different. Um, it might be for the better, um, but we're resilient. We'll get through it. It'll be good. It'll be different, but it'll be good. <laughs>